What's up, sports bettors? I got five plays for you in this video, some prize picks, some different bets on sports books, five different plays. Let's get into it. So we'll start out on prize picks, and you can see they have a bunch of discounted projections for today, which we'll go through here in a second. But long story short, my first play is from the sportsbook screen. So you just go to screen, sportsbook screen, and you can now search for specific players. So what I ended up finding is right here. So I'll zoom in a bit. Okongwu's line, his player points line is seven and a half on the other fantasy sites like No House Advantage, Underdog. On prize picks, his line is at eight, right? All the sports books also have, ok have Okongwu's line at seven and a half points. And you can see right here, Pinnacle. So Pinnacle is known to be the sharpest sports book in the world. They have his under seven and a half points as the favored outcome, Right, so every sports book is telling you, yo, Okongwu's line should be at seven and a half. Some sports books have his over seven and a half points slightly favored, but you can also see Pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker out there, they have his under favored, his under seven and a half points. So long story short, here, right, prize picks, their line is too high. All the other books, all the other data points, underdog, no house advantage, all the other fantasy sites, all the sports books are setting his line at seven and a half. Prize picks is at eight, so they're too high, and we want to take the under. So that's the first play I went with. And then I went with some of these player, you know, discounted projections. So you can see Urias, they're lowering his strikeout line for this promo, max bet size of $25. They're lowering his line from five and a half strikeouts to four and a half strikeouts. And a lot of people may seem like that's not a big deal, but you should always be taking these tacos. So what you're going to notice is like Urias, if you go to FanDuel, FanDuel is one of the few sports books that offers alternate player prop lines. So they have lines on Urias, five plus strikeouts, six plus strikeouts. Is there's like, you know, an 130 point jump in the odds just for one strikeout. So five, you know, over four and a half, which is the same as over or over four and a half strikeouts, which you can see right here, which is the same as five plus strikeouts, is like minus 235 odds on FanDuel. So it's a heavily favored outcome. Six plus strikeouts, which is the same as over five and a half, which is what, you know, Urias's regular line is set at. So his regular line is set at five and a half strikeouts. They're discounting it to four and a half. There's a 130 cent swing in the odds. So this is a play you got to go with. Right, the sports books are telling you, yo, this is two to one to hit. This is like 66.67% to hit. It's a great play to include in your prize picks entry. So I've explained this before, but you know, because prize picks, if you look at this sports book, they don't change your payouts, right, based on you selecting overs or unders. It's a fixed payout platform, right? Any five picks you select, you're always getting this flex play payout where if you go five for five, you got a 10x. So long story short, on prize picks, if you reverse engineer their payouts, which is exactly what I did in this spreadsheet, which I'll put into the description, is basically to beat prize picks, right? To be profitable on prize picks, all you need to do is win 54.25% of your player props, right? So if you're able to hit your over-unders, so if I just clear this, if you're able to select your over-unders, just like JP Sears over under four and a half strikeouts, if you can get these correct, right? If you can get these correct 55% of the time, so you're winning 55% of your player props like JP Sears over under four and a half Ks, you're winning 55%, you're losing 45%, your ROI on prize picks is going to be 5% long term. Over the course of thousands of bets, you're going to make money on prize picks, right? So all you have to do is find player props that are winning over 54.25% of the time. So a tool I use to find these bets that are winning over 54.25% of the time is right here. It's called the Odds Jam Positive EV tool. And all this tool shows you is spots where sports books have an over or an under really heavily favored, but you can still get that line on prize picks. So we have another baseball player prop right here. So I say this in a lot of videos, but I don't care if I'm betting on the MLB, NHL, NBA playoffs. I don't care, right? I just want to make money. So if there's more value in baseball, all have more bets on baseball. If there's more value in the NBA, all have more bets on NBA player props. But what you're going to see here is every sports book has Tyler Molly is over five and a half strikeouts as the heavily favored outcome, right? Pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world. They have his over at minus 155. FanDuel, minus 148. All the sports books have his over juiced, right? So we have various data points. There's numerous data points. All these sports books are data points and they're all telling us the same thing. Hey, Tyler Molly, he's a lot more likely to go over 
as opposed to under. So Jock Market, it's not a sports book. It's, it's a new fantasy site. It's kind of like prize picks. It works basically identical to prize picks. You can see it's the same minus 119. So their five flex or the five, you know, insurance or whatever it's called on Jock Market is basically the exact same as a five flex payout on prize picks. But long story short, we know on prize picks to win long term, all we need to find are plays that are winning over 54.25% of the time, right? We have to find over-unders because prize picks doesn't change our payout based on us selecting over or under. We know all we have to do is find player props that are winning over 54.25% of the time. So we look at sports books, right? All these sports books, the positive expected value tool, what this does is it shows you, you know, so you can see I have prize picks, five or six flex selected here. It just shows you spots where the sports books have one side heavily favored. So here for Tyler Molly, all the books are telling you, hey, he's a lot more likely to go over as opposed to under, right? And we can actually quantify that. So I've explained this calculator in other videos, but it's really, 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 really important to understand, right? So if you look at Pinnacle, which is known to be the sharpest sports book in the world, they have his over five and a half Ks at minus 155. So the over is pretty heavily favored. They have the under at plus 116. So what this calculator does is it tells you the true win probability for your bet based on sportsbook odds, right? So essentially we know Pinnacle has the over favored. So we know the over is gonna be hitting over 50% of the time, according to Pinnacle, the sharpest sportsbook in the world. So we know the over is gonna be hitting over 50% of the time, but you can quantify that mathematically with a no vig odds calculator. Right, so the over is juiced all the way to minus 155, the under is plus 116. So according to Pinnacle, the over is hitting at a rate of 56.77%. That's over 54.25%. So if all our player props long-term were hitting, like if you could hit player props at 56.77%, if you could hit your over-unders correctly this, you know, this well, your ROI long-term on prize picks is gonna be 17.5%. So again, there's different sports books though. So you want to consider all the data points in the market. Pinnacle is known to be the sharpest sports book in the world, but FanDuel, you know, we can look at their data point too, right? They're a data point of where the odds should be set, how juiced the over should be as well. So they only have the over juiced to minus 148. So you're going to see Pinnacle said, yo, the over was hitting 56.77% of the time. If we put in FanDuel's line minus 148, they only, you know, it goes down a bit, 56.31%. So FanDuel's a little less aggressive on his over. That's why they don't have lines juiced to minus 155, right? Pinnacle has his over all the way at minus 155. So they have his over more favored, right? More likely to occur than FanDuel. So this is how you think about the data points in the market as a sharp sports better. But long story short, Odds Jam is updating, you know, pulling in these tens of thousands of lines on prize picks, millions of odds across sports books to show you these spots where you're winning the bet over 54.25% of the time, all based in data, right? All based in the fact that sports books have the over heavily favored, right? Every data point in the market is telling you he's a lot more likely to go over as opposed to under. So you want to include his over in your prize picks entry. And you can also use this fantasy screen. So I've explained this before, but the fantasy screen. So the first tool we looked at was the sportsbook screen. Then we looked at the positive EV tool. And now we're going to the fantasy screen. So what the fantasy screen does is it reads in odds from all the sports books. I mean, it's all based in data again, and then just shows you those plays that are most likely to win, right? So you want to take all the green bets because those are all plays winning over 54.25% of the time. So any of these picks in green are profitable, right? They're all gonna be profitable in your prize picks entry. So you're gonna see there's a little bit of overlap with the EV tool. Tyler Molly over five and a half Ks. It also reads in the projections. So Odds Jam's able to pick up that, hey, you know, Urias and Otani are discounted over four and a half and over seven and a half strikeouts. FanDuel has these lines at like minus 200. Two to one favorite, 66.67% to occur. That means these player props, if you could hit all your player props two thirds of the time on prize picks, your ROI, your return on capital would be 110%. You'd be absolutely insane. You would be a legend on prize picks. So for Tyler Molly, you're gonna see again, all books have his over five and a half Ks as the heavily favored outcome. So we're including it. For Hayden Wiskensky, all the books have his under two and a half earned runs heavily favored. For Jason Tatum, all the books have his over nine and a half rebounds heavily favored. 
So just following the data, here's what I ended up finding on prize picks. So first I took the projection with Urias. So Julio Urias over four and a half Ks, Molly over five and a half Ks, Hayden Wakensky, all these plays, I never follow my gut. All these plays are based in data. Hayden Wakensky under two and a half earned runs, Miles Mikolas over four and a half Ks, Tatum over nine and a half rebounds. Literally, Tatum over nine and a half rebounds. All these bets in bold. Sportsbooks all have Tatums over nine and a half rebounds, heavily favored. So that's a great sharp bet to include in your prize picks entry. So first one, then here I just replaced Otani with uh, Urias. You can only bet a max of 25 bucks on this promo. And then finally, I just replaced Okongwu. So I added in that Okongwu under eight points, which we found earlier. So a lot of plays on prize picks. We had um, a pretty insane day yesterday, actually. Uh, you can see we went five for five here. We had a $4,000 cash I mean, pretty great day. I mean, quickly screwed us here. <laughs> you know, we almost got that $10,000 win. But regardless, I mean, we hit a five for five flex. Yesterday was crazy. All plays based in data. As On to the sports book. So I've explained this before, but, you know, Odds Jam, it doesn't just work for prize picks. It also works all of these plays that I'm betting on. This is just one sports book, win bet sports book. All these plays I find on the positive EV tool. So the first bet that I went with for today, just as an example, is the Rangers under three and a half team total at minus 115 odds on Fliff. So what you're going to notice is we're getting this team total. Fliff has the same odds for the over and the under. They have both the over and the under at minus 115. Every sports book, right? Literally every other sports book has the under three and a half heavily favored around like minus 140, minus 145 odds. Bet Online has this minus 143. DraftKings and Bovada have this minus 150. So we're getting a ton of value on Fliff, right? There has been value all over this sports book since I've signed up for it. So Fliff is an interesting platform. First of all, you only have to be 18 plus to sign up. Most sports books, right? You got to be 21 or older. But on Fliff, you only have to be 21 or, or I apologize, 18 or older to sign up. So Fliff is a pretty interesting platform that's growing in popularity. But more importantly for us, there's a lot of profitable bets on it right? More sportsbook accounts you get, the more profitable bets there are going to be. And Rangers under three and a half team total at minus 115 is crazy value. Every sportsbook, every other data point is saying, no, 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 no. The under should be heavily, heavily favored around minus 150, a 1.5 to one favorite, roughly 60% to win, right? Minus 150 means a uh, 1.5 to 1 favorite, which is 60% to win. So all the other data points are telling you, yo, the under should be really heavily favored. You're getting this at minus 115. So this is another MLB bet that I went with. Really clear value. And I mean, we have a bunch of videos breaking down how to calculate the profit margin of your bets. So you can see right here, this first one has a profit margin of 4.78%. Like we have a ton of videos about how to break down your prof your profit margin, no big odds, stuff like that. But as a data-driven sports better, it really is as simple as just looking for value, right? All these books set lines independently. So you essentially have dozens of data points telling you where a line should be set. And then you're just hunting for value. So here, the Rangers team total, we're getting a ton of value on Fliff. There's not value on the Yankees team total. There's not value on the Angels athletics team total. Right? As a sharp better, we follow the value, and minus 115 on this play is absolutely insane. So that's one of the picks I included in my parlay. Yo, so here you can see my two plays on Fliff, two different parlays. I say this all the time. Get more sportsbook accounts. Sometimes there's a lot of value on Fliff. Sometimes it's FanDuel. Sometimes it's prize picks. The more sportsbook accounts you have, the better, the more money you'll make, because all these books set lines independently from one another.